I'm Ross Jennings and this is Waffle TV sponsored by West Beer. This morning I'm with some of the cast from Vampire Hospital waiting room. How are you guys doing? Yeah, good thanks. Great, very well. <laughs> now tell us about your show this year, The Fringe. I hear it's very, very interesting. Um, yeah, well this show we, we wrote uh, last year as part of the university. We wrote the entire thing in like two weeks. Okay. In a sort of panic rush to just put on some crazy show. And then we had so much fun doing it, we just sort of polished it up and kept working on it. And decided that we'd just love for more people to see it and want to put on a free fringe. Free fringe this year? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and remind us again where you're performing. Uh, we're, we're performing every Sunday night at Bedlam Theatre, okay. um, which is uh, half midnight. Um, and then we're performing every day at the last week of 4.15 at City Cafe. City Cafe. The, the idea for the show came when we had um, a vampire... We, we, we had loads of vampire cloaks, loads of chairs, yeah. loads of hospital gowns. In our like prop and costume store yeah. at the Lucian Theatre. Shit like chairs. Yeah, somebody thought it would be like came up with this title as you know, a way to use all of the surplus <laughs> stuff in our theatre. Yeah. And then we just kind of ran away with the idea of how ridiculous it would be to have a sort of B movie like old fashioned like priests and vampires and sort of fifty like businessmen and secretaries yeah. and, like throwing them all in. It's uh, quite a wacky that's what I think it's quite rocky horror picture show. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, sort yeah. of thing. Exactly, yeah. So you're hoping to get some sort of colour following as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then in fish net tights, will we see any of that? Um I can't promise you less camp than, than Rocky Horror. <laughs> yeah, it's not about raunchy. But only but slightly. Yeah. Yeah. I would yeah. say I'm very sexy coma fish. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> um, yeah. I have a song called uh, Fetish for Romance, yeah. which is um, it's quite raunchy, raunchy actually. It's quite raunchy, it's quite gross. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have, yeah, we just tried to make it as ridiculous as possible. So our songs are like, no, let, let's put the fun in the funeral. Yeah. We've got Love is like a car crash. Um, yeah. So and these are all written fun. by yourself? Yes, Theo wrote all the music. All well, the music, yeah. seriously. And, yeah. um, but like, we, two of us wrote most of the, the mm -hmm. lyrics, but the whole cast were just chipping in. Joe's ad libbed sort of most, probably most of your lines are now things you've just made up because you forgot the actual lines. Yeah. So, yeah. so you're now, <laughs> you're now improvising every, every night, um, every day. Yeah, usually. Only a couple of lines. <laughs> Only There's a couple of lines. I mean, we've kept the best stuff from yeah. over the years. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I was pretty bad at it. Even now, I'm still not 100% sure on the line. Yeah. Because he, he, can do, he can say whatever with this guy. Yeah. 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 And usually don't worry. Yeah, Joe's our doctor who is uh, completely mad and weak with the vampire line, so he, he wants to be a vampire and he's kind of, yeah. And I understand you guys are improvers as well. Yeah. So that's, so that's obviously this, this music must be pretty funny, it's pretty funny too. And it must it, be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, yeah, it, we're it, expecting it, it to be. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, it just it allows us to not be too worried about what we're doing, you know, that we okay. can sort of pick up anything crazy that goes wrong. Yeah. Right, because, um, yeah. We also, also give, I'm given like five minutes where he, I have to do like tests, like doctor tests on him to okay. check if he can move. And I've got to just <coughs> pretend to be completely in a coma the entire thing and not laugh. But, so but this I is sort of challenge. Yeah, so you, your it. challenge is to try and Yeah, so I get to do whatever I like really for the first five minutes. See if he <laughs> and he does, they always like. It's so difficult for us to laugh. He's <laughs> taking out like, like, uh, like wind up cameras in the middle of the show and just sort of taking pictures of me like. Yeah, that is a fun cast. Yeah. Yeah. He came in dressed as a Mexican one day. We had yeah. to tone it down a bit because people said it was just too, we were having too much fun. <laughs> yeah. so, um, so we tried to make it slightly more professional. We got, we just got like a yeah. shorter amount there. And, and how big is the cast in total? Seven. Seven, Seven of you. Okay. Um, yeah, but we've tried to make it, you know, people play like chorusy dance dancers in the background as well, just in black cloaks, so it doesn't look like a kind of. We got a choreographer in for the fringe to try and tighten us up and yeah. look as music theatre and professional as possible. So. And will we be seeing you guys next year at the fringe? Hopefully. In yeah. yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. Unless we. Free fringe or tickets? Um, I'm not sure where we'd get the money to do I reckon we'll, <laughs> we'll probably have. Um, done so well this year that we're in like Pleasant Grand or yeah, the other, the, under, the purple belly, cow, yeah, the purple yeah, yeah, cow, cow will want us next year, but yeah. if not, you know, maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll be free friend again. It has been quite fun. It's like, yeah. There's not quite as a demand to like get me to offering people free shows. And so probably so free, yeah, free shows seem, seem to be more, more relaxed and that everyone's open to any sort of entertainment. Yeah, exactly. Great. And if it's good, if people enjoy it, then more, it's more likely to get spread around. People yeah. want to go more. So, yeah, no, we, we sold out our first show, and what there's nothing more you could want really than having because we're not so big to try yeah. and make money. And if you've got a sold out show with a great audience Indeed. and you're making your money back, then that what, why wouldn't you do it? Well, best of luck to you guys. Thank you very much for speaking to us this morning. Cheers. This Thanks. is Ross Jennings from Waffle TV.